Dear students, today we will be focusing on two groups known as tracking and changes groups in the review ribbon. So why we need the tracking in the document? So for example, if you have written a document and you have shared with your supervisor and your supervisor want to add something into the document and also want uh, you to learn that what that supervisor has added and what changes he has made. So what he can do, he can start writing in the document by uh, clicking on track changes. So this means that your document is being tracked for all of the new changes and you will be able to see all of the changes made by your supervisor and then you can accept those changes, reject those changes or you can consult your supervisor for that kind of thing. So let's start the practical that how it can actually happen in the Microsoft Word documents. So for example, here is the same document which we already had. So I have received this document from one of my students and I want to change and I want to let him or her know that uh, this document uh, lacks different things. For example, if I say, okay, um, I need to add Microsoft Word 2013 version over here. So first of all, I should go into the review uh, tracking and this is track changes. So there are two options, whether you want to start tracking or you whether to lock the tracking, which means there is no track. So at the moment, there is no track. So let's click on track changes. So now whatever uh, changes I'm going to make in this document will be was previously, I guess. Yeah. So those changes will be visible like this you have seen that as soon as I added 2013 so this has been uh, given a new color and it is saying that this command has been added by administrator so for example I if I want to change something else so let's see introduction to so I want to say I want to delete this I want to say intro to world has been given in this module. So you have seen that whatever I added newly, it has been uh, changed with new color and whatever I have deleted that is visible to my student or to my colleague that he, he or she can see that what changes have been made to this document. And you can also play with the uh, commands being represented over here. So uh, just try to focus on 2013 for a moment and see what will happen if we select simple markup. So you have seen that that kind of line and its uh, uh, color has gone away. If you want to see it like this, all markup. If you want to see it with no markup, so you can basically choose how you would like to see changes in this document and this is of course to show the markup so for example uh, whether the commands need to be shown ink insertions formatting so we have learned these things in the last modules so if i click over here so those commands and inks would be displayed in our document otherwise those would not be part of our document and then there is a reviewing pen so if I click on this reviewing pan, it is telling that administrator has made this one. Sorry. Just click on it and come back to it again. So it is telling that uh, five revisions have been made. Two are insertions, deletions, moves, formatting and so on. So it is basically telling us that what changes have been made so you can uh, have this reviewing pen as a vertical or as a horizontal whatever you like and you can see what are those changes and it can also be crossed to uh, move to the previous document so we have seen that how to track change how to show your changes, how to see the reviewing pane 
and then the next thing is that whatever has been suggested by the let's move it like this so that it is shown over here so if you want to accept or reject the things then you need to come into in the changes document and come over here and then say okay accept and move so when i will say accept and move wherever my cursor is for example my cursor is here so it will search the next change which is over here it will accept it and move so i said accept and move so it has accepted this 2013 the next change which the supervisor has made is this space accept it move accept and move or you can accept all changes simultaneously and from here uh, you can reject changes if you want so for example if you say no i do not agree uh, with the person who has changed so i will uh, remain with the will be and uh, i do not want to change has been so you can reject things from here you can accept things from here and then you can go to the next change and previous change if there are to see what are different things and what are different uh, changes available in this document so let's conclude today's topic uh, we have learned very important things about the review of the document and how all of the changes done by any individual can be retained and can be shown to others that what type of things can have been changed in this document and then you have a chance or then you have a right to accept or reject those changes so we have seen track changes markups reviewing pane accept reject previous and next